Hello everyone and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, I'm going to provide you with an overview of AWS SageMaker Studio and Autopilot as well. Okay, so let's get started. So what is Amazon SageMaker Studio? So SageMaker Studio is a fully integrated development environment or IDE for short for machine learning. And I really like um, Amazon uh, SageMaker Studio because it provides just one, one place, like one, uh, one stop shop for everything you want to do within machine learning uh, workflow. So if you want to build the model, if you want to train and tune the model, if you want to deploy and manage the model, you would be able to do everything in just one, one browser, which is again, pretty fascinating. So here we have Amazon SageMaker Studio. That's again, an integrated um, development environment or IDE for machine learning. And you will notice that basically you can't do labeling within the um, within Amazon SageMaker Studio. So you'll find that basically the labeling process could be done separately with Amazon SageMaker Ground Truth. But once you have the data, then you will be able to do everything afterwards from building the model, from training and tuning, and from deploying as well and managing within the SageMaker Studio. And within SageMaker as well Studio, what you could do as well and I'm going to show you as well a lot of features for it, is what we call it Amazon SageMaker Autopilot. You would be able to automatically build and train models without even knowing any code at all. Again, it's pretty, pretty incredible. So what you, what you need to do, just upload the data to S3 and then say, okay, please go ahead. Here is my data and just and on autopilot just build and train the model for me not just one model you're actually going to go ahead and SageMaker would be able to just create a series of models for you you know trained with different strategies and then they will show you all these different models already trained for you and you can select you know whatever you want the best one and then you can click deploy and that's it done you're good to go Everything is done for you, which is again, pretty incredible without even having any machine learning or AI knowledge per se. And uh, as well within um, Amazon SageMaker Studio, you will be able to manage experiments, which is very, very important uh, feature. And you will be able to tune the model as well and kickstart a hyperparameters tuning job as well. There are a lot of elements in here. So um, within, the, within SageMaker in general, See, we covered AWS Marketplace before. Within Amazon SageMaker Notebooks, here you would be able to, instead of going and defining or starting or instantiating a notebook instance, as we did in the previous lecture, what we could do here instead is that we can just simply go ahead and just create the notebook right away. And you don't need to worry about what's happening in the background, okay? I'm gonna show you guys what, what do I mean by this. It's just one click notebook instantiation and you can just kickstart your project right away. And then you can also leverage Amazon SageMaker experiments. So you can capture and organize all these experiments in one place. You can also do Amazon SageMaker, SageMaker debugger where you will be able to debug the, uh, the uh, model as, as it's being trained and you will be also to perform automatic model tuning. So you can just one click, you can perform hyperparameters tuning job and actually tune your model hyperparameters and improve the model performance and robustness. And after the model is deployed, you can do a lot of things as well. You can first monitor the model. So you can take a look at the model predictions and see if the model is drifting or not. It is actually performing well or not on new data that the model has never seen before. You can also deploy these models on using uh, SageMaker Neo. And simply you can do that just by like um, by deploying the model on the edge, on edge um, devices. If you want to basically do it like, you know, implement a code, implement a train model, let's say on a, on a fridge, for example, or, you know, on a microcontroller or, or any of that, you will be able to do that using Amazon SageMaker Neo. And you can also do Amazon Augmented AI, where you will be able to add human review for model predictions. Think of this as now you have the AI along with humans, kind of, you know, like for some predictions where the AI is not, um, is not uh, have a very low confidence, like it's not, it's not very accurate. You could have humans in there reviewing what the AI is predicting. 
So you'll be able to come up with much better performance afterwards. Okay, so that's from a very high level uh, Amazon SageMaker and specifically Amazon SageMaker Studio here that help you integrate everything in just one place or one stop shop. Okay, all right. So here's the interface and what the Amazon SageMaker Studio look like. So you will be able to actually uh, have your code here available and you will be able to run experiments so you can visualize as well the performance of your, uh, your, of your training and you will be able to visualize as well all the various experiments again in one place, which is again pretty powerful. So all ML development activities such as notebooks, experiments management, automatic model creation, if you want to do debugging, if you want to do model drifting detection, all that can be performed within a unified visual interface, just one interface that can um, provide all that for you. So here are the uh, five, I would say, features when it comes to Amazon SageMaker Studio. So first is collaboration at scale. So you'll be able to share notebooks without tracking any code dependencies. So they try to make it very easy and very seamless integration. The second point is easy experiments management. So you will be able to organize, track, and compare thousands of experiments in just one place. And, and for those of you guys who maybe have done some AI and ML uh, um, projects in the past, you will find that just managing the data, managing all the experiments, managing all the hyperparameters tuning, and all that is, is actually a hectic job. And, and if you have uh, all these elements distributed in multiple locations, it could be really a headache. And that's where Amazon SageMaker Studio can come into play and just integrate all that in just one place so you will be able to manage easier and actually innovate much, much faster. So we have automatic model generation. So you'll be able to actually generate as well um, model and get accurate models with full visibility. So what's really good about the autopilot is that you will be able to say, okay, here is my data. Please go ahead and tell me what, which model should I use? And so what SageMaker Studio will gonna do and the AutoML feature specifically, we're just gonna go there and train, you know, a series of models with different algorithms and we'll tell you, okay, here is the best one and here is why. So you will be able to have it's not a black box anymore. So it will tell you which algorithm they used, what hyperparameters did they use, why did they do that? It's kind of, you know, like a report associated with it, which is again, extremely powerful. And then we have the higher quality ML models and you will be able to automatically debug errors, monitor models and maintain high quality. And there is also obviously increased productivity because now you're doing all the coding or the building of the models, the training, the deployment, and the monitoring, all that in unified visual interface. Just one stop shop for everything you need. Okay, all right. So that's all what I have for this lecture. I hope you guys enjoyed it. In the next lecture, I'm gonna walk you through AWS SageMaker Studio. Just walk through in like five minutes. Again, please stay calm. We're gonna cover that in great details throughout the course. This is just a quick overview to get, to get you started. That's all what it is. Please stay tuned and please enjoy AWS SageMaker practical course and I will see you guys in the next lecture.